Ladies and gentlemen, we have had the unfortunate early passing of a wine before its time. This is very, very sad. I'm the Mr. Tommy D. I'm the Mrs. This is a very, very sad moment. Even our poor little puppy Topanga is, is very heartbroken. You see, here in the Mr. and Mrs. household, we really love wine. And we feel wine is kind of like the fourth member of our family. That's right. And when we found out today that this poor young wine had been cut down in its prime, we were so sad. Unfortunately, we have to take responsibility. We had a man go down on our watch. This wine was our responsibility, and we failed it. Look at that color. That's supposed to be a rosé, and it's turning brown, and it's starting to smell like vinegar. Yes, so we definitely do not want to drink it, so we have to do the responsible thing and put it to bed. We're going to have to put it to bed. You know, the biggest tragedy in all this is that this could have been prevented. This wine had a great life ahead of us in our gullets and in our bellies, giving us a great buzz. Although I will say that this wine was not that great of a buzz, but it's still unfortunate nonetheless. Uh, now, just to be realistic here, folks, we did let the wine go bad on purpose for demonstration purposes so that we could do this video. We hope you share in our pain, but please realize this was not our favorite wine. This was a cheap wine that was like $15 for almost a gallon at Walmart. It was not a great wine, but we had to let it go bad so you could see what a bad wine looks like. And so we could describe it to you. Uh, the missus is going to give you some more information about how you know when a wine has gone bad, what it's called, and why it happens. Yeah, um, normally you should store your wine at pretty much a proper temperature, white wine around 45 degrees, red wine 55 degrees, and I think rosé is probably about the same as white. And now this jug, I'm not sure what to do with how you would store it, but most bottles of wine you would store sideways, horizontally. Right. Um, and when it starts to change color, it has that little brown, you know, kind of color and a little more rust-like and... You can smell the vinegar in it. You won't really get sick if it's, you know, that, but it's not, it didn't taste that good to begin with. So we really, right. we don't want to really spend too much time, you know, more doing it. Right. So. And just so you folks know, I mean, this is not moonshine. This is wine. It's, you see right there on the label, it's uh, Carlo Rossi Sweet Rosé, but it's brown now. It looks like moonshine. So it looks like something, you know, we're in the South. <clears throat> but this isn't something we made out in the backyard. This is this was wine. And any wine that leaves us early is, is a tragedy nonetheless. So, um, again, you've got to store your wine properly. You've got to use the proper temperatures. Um, if you're a serious wine drinker, I would say invest in a chiller. Uh, we're hoping that you guys will give us subs subscribes, uh, comment, and like us so that maybe someday doing these videos, we can make enough money to get a chiller so that this kind of tragedy can never happen again. Never happen again. I'm asking you people out there to be human. I mean, we're talking about a lost wine. I mean, that's that's about as tragic as you can get nowadays. I mean, this is this is not good. We can't have this happen. And I don't want this to happen to anybody. I don't want anyone to go through the pain my family is going through right now. We're going through a lot of pain. So I just want to say to this Carlo and Rossi Rosé, may you have a better life in the afterlife. We're going to give you a proper send-off right now. Come with us, please. I know I promised I'd hold it together, but... You do love your wine. We do love our wine. And now it has to, to go this. down the drain. Yes, we're going to give you a proper send-off. Down the drain you go. Oh my goodness. Mm. We promise we'll never have this happen to your children again. We will learn from our mistakes and so will everybody out there. This is just terrible. We don't want this to happen again, so we'll have to be this better. Is, this is just bad, he's so young. He had such a life ahead of him. You know, in our bellies. Yeah. So, so do your bellies and your wine a favor. 
take proper care of your wine, and please like and subscribe and comment so that we all give the future generation of wine a better life in our bellies. Please like, subscribe, and comment. This is the Mr. And Topanga, we are very, very sad. Thank you so much for your time. Signing off.